People ask me all the time, hey Rex Del Rey, how you do so much? Listen, you get your ass off the couch and go do something. You go do something. You go do something. I've been living live since I've been alive. Even as a child, I learned to use my mind. It don't matter the subject, I picked it up and I did it. With these two hands, that's all my life and I built it. These hands were made for working. And that's just how I do. And y'all can see. Hey guys, Rexel right here, and today I got a really easy build for you, which is just the way I like to build. Uh, today I'm building a uh, paddle rack system, um, so it can hold your paddle, uh, your fishing rods, your stakeout pole, your push pole, whatever, um, and it allows you to easily pick it up and put it down uh, without having to fumble around with these traditional um, paddle holders. So I already went ahead and made one. Um, it's a really easy concept. Basically, it's a it's a four four shape, um, and you're gonna have two of them, and you're gonna lay. Let's say there's a paddle. You're gonna lay your paddle uh, in here, so you can easily pick it up um, and put it away. And uh, we got a little tarp tarp clip. I mean a tarp tie down here, um, and that'll hold the paddle securely. And lastly, here uh, this. Uh, these pipes I'm using, they're Schedule 80 pipes. Um, found them in the obviously in the plumbing section of um, of Lowe's. I believe these are used for a sprinkler system. So they're Schedule 80. Uh, they're really thick um, and durable. And these are half-inch pipes, um, threaded pipes, and uh, they go right into this um, gearhead track adapter by Scotty. So uh, a half-inch pipe goes in there. Like that. All right, so I've got a KC Kayak and I've got a, a gear track on there. So these um, gearhead track adapters work perfectly. Again, these are from Scotty. All right, so this is the initial. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build the uh, the matching piece for this. So um, let's go ahead and do it. Here I've got three three-inch um, threaded pipes. Um, they're threaded on both ends, and then I've got one four-inch. Um, pipe and then I've got uh, three elbows and then I've got a T. Uh, these are all threaded on both sides. Um, now obviously this is just for one piece so you're gonna double those. Hands were made for working and that's just how I do and y'all can sit here talking I gotta move I gotta go I got things to do I'm talking action man right now these are screw in but um, getting them all lined up can be a little bit of a, a pain, which I discovered with that first one I built. So I'm using a rubber mallet here to kind of uh, get a tighter fit and get them to all straighten out. All right, so that looks pretty even here. All right, so again, you got a four shape here. And I went ahead and pre-cut these, and these are one-inch uh, self-sealing um, uh, pipe pipe foam. Yeah. So the reason I'm putting these on is uh, because I don't want to make a lot of noise when I pick up and put down my paddle. Uh, I don't want to spook any fish um, in the process. And usually the main reason you're putting down your paddle is because is you see a fish um, or you reach your spot. So you definitely don't want to make a lot of noise. And again, with these traditional ones, um, I found myself kind of messing around with these, um, trying to put it back in, uh, causing a lot of ruckus, my paddle hitting my, my kayak, just making a lot of noise unnecessarily. So um, I just started not liking these because they do hold your paddles real securely, but they're just a pain in the ass to use. Do something. You gon' lose every game that you don't play. You gon' stay the same, let you seek change. Things gon' change, like it or not. So when life give you lemons, what you gon' do? Stop. These hands were made for working, and that's just how I do. And y'all can sit here talking. I got a And then the last piece here um, is using a little uh, tarp tie down to uh, help secure your paddle, your uh, stakeout pole, your push pole. Um, 
just to secure it while you're in transit and it doesn't pop out so I just do a couple of loops here Alright, and now whenever you want to secure your your gear, you just lift this over there and then it's in here nice and secure. Alright, and again this pops into the the gear head track adapter. These are the gearhead track adapter if you guys are looking for it. And so now I've got two four shapes and this is where I'm going to pick up uh, and set down my stake out pole, uh, my paddle and even my fishing rod. Um, if you guys have any questions um, or suggestions feel free to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to check out my uh, other DIY videos. Um, you can just go here. Uh, if you want to see my fishing videos we got a bunch of gopro fishing videos you can check them out here uh and last don't forget to subscribe is a campaign all right slogan. see you guys later you get your ass off the couch and go do something you go do something you go do something you go lose every game that you don't play you go stay the same let you see change things gonna change like it or not someone like give you lemons what you gonna do stop